the nitric boost is our most popular product and it boosts the levels of nitric oxide in the body nitric oxide is produced in a couple ways in the body but the one we're going to focus on is through several enzymes and an enzyme is essentially it's a chemical machine inside the body that takes molecules and puts them together and produces either another enzyme or another molecule. In this case, the molecule being produced is nitric oxide. So nitric oxide is critical to the body. It serves as a messenger and it also serves as part of your immune system. It serves to protect your blood brain barrier. So your brain is protected and also nourished at the same time. It helps with digestion and moving food through your system. So no nitric oxide and then you get constipated be quite honest with you. It's also used throughout your nervous system and your muscles. So you need nitric oxide everywhere. We think of it, oh, it's just to help with, you know, sexual performance or to help with lowering your blood pressure and opening blood vessels. But that's just one of its many, probably hundreds if not thousands of functions. So the nitric boost is the raw materials and the cofactors that these enzymes need to make nitric oxide. And we use citrulline. And this is really, really important. You're going to see a lot of information out there about arginine and arginine is the molecule that the enzyme uses to make nitric oxide. So why are we using citrulline if arginine is what is needed? The reason is when you take arginine orally, when you eat arginine or an arginine supplement, most of that arginine gets stolen by the liver and it doesn't get into the cells where you need it. You can fool the body, quote unquote fool it, by giving it citrulline instead. There's another enzyme inside each cell that converts the citrulline to arginine right where it's needed so the liver can't steal it. So we use citrulline and we find we get much better results using citrulline than arginine.